Unggu ala galing gila wak. Good day. I'm Buck Thomas. Unparalleled adventurer, survivalist extraordinaire, and part-time game show host. Now, many people around the world have asked me how they could be an unparalleled adventurer and survivalist like myself. I tell them three simple things. One, exercise every day. Two, learn to scream the word help in 37 different languages. And three, and most importantly, watch as many episodes of Gilligan's Island as possible. You see, thanks to Gilligan's Island, I've learned to survive in any situation. And soon you will too, after I test your skills in four Gilligan's Island survival scenarios. Alrighty, let's begin, shall we? Good luck, and get ready for survival scenario number one. The island you're shipwrecked on has been invaded by hostile natives. What would you do? A. Capture one of the natives and try your best to communicate with them. B. Hide in a cave and hope your fellow castaways don't vote you off the island. Straight into a boiling pot. Or C. Fashion some crude musical instruments out of sand and seashells, form a scrappy band, tour the islands, and follow your crazy dreams. What solution did you choose? If you've ever been face to face with hostile island natives, then you know the answer is B. Even with those savages outside, I feel better now that we have this fire. Now remember, never underestimate the power of hiding. It can save your life, especially when people are trying to eat you. It's important to remember that when building a shelter, Use bamboo that isn't brittle. Use the strongest vines you can find in the jungle. And I can't stress this enough. Please build your hut high up on dry land. Otherwise, this could happen. And what's the hut doing out here? <laughs> Pull me a line, Gilligan. OK, thrill seekers, let's move on to survival scenario number two. One day, you and the skipper are out looking for a rescue ship when your raft is attacked by man-eating sharks. What would you do? Keep paddling. A, scream for help. B, go down with the raft. Or C, hope the sharks like skipper meat. What solution did you choose? If you're a true survivalist, then you guessed the correct answer, C. Now remember, if you're ever attacked by man-eating sharks, you don't have to swim faster than the sharks. Just faster than the person you're with. Speaking of man-eating beasts, I'm going to show you a simple way to make wild animal repellent using sand and a coconut. Now when a wild animal charges at you, Throw sand at it. Ja. If that doesn't work, throw the coconut. No. All righty, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> to survival scenario number three. <laughs> One day while searching the island for shelter, you come across a jungle boy. What would you do? A, spend the day swinging on vines. B, try to teach him table manners. Or C, have him fly to Hollywood in a makeshift balloon and star in a string of John Carpenter movies. What solution did you choose? <laughs> the obvious choice is answer C. It may not be flying first class, but it beats being stuck on an island wearing the same outfit for 15 years. Uh -huh. 
If you're ever stuck on a desert island with no way of communicating with the rest of the world, a fish can be used as a radio. A man will hit a bunch single and coffee and field napping. They were expecting him to hit away. This puts men on first and third with one out, and Roger Maris coming up to bat. Provided, of course, you were careless enough to drop the radio in the lagoon in the first place. <laughs> Let's move on to the final and most important survival scenario, number four. Your boat is shipwrecked and you need to repair it to get off the island. What would you do? A, hope the professor can repair a three foot hole in the boat. B, spend some quality time alone with Marianne. Or C, sit around and pray for two more seasons and a syndication deal. What solution did you choose? If you've been paying any attention at all, then you know the correct answer is B. Mmm, it's sweet. Yeah. Just like you, Gilligan. Oh, yeah. And remember, if Marianne's not available, there is always Ginger. Because you know how lonely those island nights can get. So regardless of what answers you chose for these scenarios, I'm certain I was able to school you in the art of survival. So just remember, next time you find yourself in the company of hostile natives, man-eating sharks, or wondering what to pack for your three-hour tour, just ask yourself, what would you do? I'm Buck Thomas, and the castaways have spoken. Cut. That's it, we're wrapped. Fantastic, lose the jungle, shall we, huh? Okay, I have to take off, I have to be in Burbank by 4.30, an infomercial. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, call me. Uh, can I take the sandwiches from lunch home? Fantastic, keep this wardrobe too. Does anybody know where my car is? <laughs> <laughs>